morning, I'm Mike from Ellie here. Welcome back to, NAS to some NASCAR news regard and a thoughts and opinions on things. This is NASCAR Heat 4 because I want to talk about the... Uh, because last week in Kansas, outside of the Joey Logano victory, which about time he got a W, and this is coming to as a Hendrick fan, Motorsports fan. I want to talk about this young lady, Hallie Deegan. At JGR Crosley, and overall, I thought she was really good in her Ford, in her uh, Ford F one fifty. Even though she now she got a full time ride in the same JGR Crosley, and yes, this is the JGR Crosley that Hallie Decker used to have. And honestly, Hallie kicked some serious ass for a while. In fact, I thought she did pretty good. I was expecting her to finish in the top twenty five. Nope, she finished sixteenth. Not bad. Go, you go, girl. That's awesome. But we're going to keep with the truck story news here. It seems that NASCAR rumors are indicated. It seems that Ross Chastain, oh, not Ross Chastain, Nice Motorsports, the team that I drive for in NASCAR Heat 5, which a couple of those career modes ended up getting, well, accidentally deleted by me. I apologize for that. It seems that Trevor Bain will be riding in the truck series for Nice full time, which is fantastic. My gut feeling he's taking the 45. So sorry, Ty Majeski. It's time for you to pack up and go. So yeah, Trevor Bain, it's great to see that he gets a second chance. For Nice Motorsports. Hopefully he gets a second shot at the cup ride. But probably the bigger news of the truck series is the title sponsor. We're going back. We're turning back the clock because the title sponsor of Gander Outdoors is switching the name back to Camping World. Which honestly, even though Camping World sounds better, I actually am kind of sad because come on, Camping World Truck Series. It sounds a lot better than Gander Outdoors Truck Series. So, a wise decision, buddy. Now, let's talk about the, well, the Cup Series. Because, because boy, we got some major news regarding the Truck Series. We're going to start off with the 43. Formerly drove by Bubba Wallace. Well, soon to be, because we only have a few races left of the season. We now know who will be taking over that ride. We, and the driver who will be taking over the 43 is... Eric Jones. Honestly, great pickup for RPM. Willie, honestly, I don't know how is he going to do in the new car. But honestly... I don't know how I feel about this. This is going to be an interesting choice going forward. But honestly, I wouldn't expect Derek Jones to improve the 43 like Bubba Wallace did. But only time will tell. And not to mention, we got the next gen car coming in. And oh, with Bubba's, we got the news regarding Bubba Wallace's new team. We'll get to that at the end. Of course, one of the big news that came out of my last NASCAR video was the announcement that Cliff Boyer will be retiring at the season's end and will be heading off to the Fox booth. Great move. Well, to the surprise of nobody, Chase Briscoe will be taking over that ride. And honestly, what else can I say? His resume in Xfinity speaks for itself. In fact, he's my pick to win the Xfinity Championship. At least someone other than RCR is getting it this year. So, yep, Briscoe to the 90, to the 14. Wise choice. Now, the bigger question is, who the hell's taking over the 98? Are, is the uh, Stuart Haas going to shut down their Xfinity program? And now, let's get back to the Cup Series. And this one, I am very happy to hear report this one. All I can say is, he's back! Kyle Larson has been officially been reinstated, and I am so glad to hear this because I see Kyle Larson has 
really done a lot to earn this reinstatement. And honestly, it's going to be, I mean, come on, you got a freaking dirt race at Bristol. It's like, come on, you have to reinstate Larson. And where does Larson go? Well, I think there's only, he's destined for this car. He's destined for this car, no, wow. I was not expecting that. Now the big question is, he's expected to go to the 88, but the bigger question is on everybody's mind. Is it gonna stay the 88? Will it go back to the five? Will it go to the 25? Or maybe the 57? I know people are saying, why is he driving the 57? Well, thing is, that's, for those of you who don't watch World of Outlaws, that's Larson's dirt number. And don't think Larson can't, Mr. H can get it, because Mr. H has driven, has the 57 car for like a cup of coffee. But not much photos of the 57 car of Hendrick Motorsports exist. But history says there was a 57 car in the HMS lineup. So yeah, even though they haven't exactly announced Larson to the 88, 525, whatever, it looks like this is where he's going. But now we're going to talk about news that dropped today. And like I said, we're saving Bubba Wallace for the end. We're going to start off with somewhat some, uh, some sad news. As I already mentioned earlier, Corey LaJoy is leaving Go Fast. Well, according to Adam Stern, and Go Fast confirmed this, yeah, Corey LaJoy, and it seems that Shores of Motorsports is taking the sponsorship with them. With him out. So Go Fast will be going part time in 2021. And then Adam Stern brought up that Go Fast's charter was bought by Spire Motorsports. So it seems to me that Spire might be going full time, but the bigger question is on everyone's mind who is going to fill these new rides? I'm not really sure, but it's going to be very interesting to see how things go from here. So yeah, go fast going part time, but now the bit now now here's the here's another situation that's on everybody's mind. Will this be the car that Austin Sindrick might be driving part time for? So it kind of does make sense in a way because 32 is a Ford car. So, it's going to be interesting to see going forward. Now for some news. We know, we all know that Bubba Wallace is heading to a team that's owned by Michael Jordan and Danny Hamlin. But a few days ago, and boy, today's been a crazy day. And there was some news from Formula One. We'll talk about that next in the next video, so stay tuned. A few days ago, an interesting trademark. Someone on Twitter showed a trademark application paperwork for 23, okay, last interruption, I swear. I thought at the beginning again. A few days ago, someone on Twitter put on put a trademark application he posted that application on Twitter for something called 2311 Racing. 11 is in the X1 in Roman numerals. And it was applied by someone from North Carolina. And if you know Michael Jordan's history, you all know that it was. It was this potential. And I thought, I was like, okay, this is the potential name for Bubba Wallace's team. Or Michael Jordan and Danny, Danny Hamlin's team with Bubba Wallace as the driver. Well, while I was seemingly asleep or I was out on the town, today, a Twitter account pretty much confirmed it 
that the team George, Michael Jordan and Danny Hamlin running with Bubba Wallace as the driver will be known as 2011 Racing. They released a short video on Twitter practically announcing the name and releasing the logo, which honestly is nice. It could do a little adjustments. So yeah, there you guys go. 20, Bubba Wallace will be now be driving for 2311 Racing. Boy, getting used to that name. But the thing is, they haven't exactly confirmed. They haven't exactly confirmed which manufacturer the, this 2311 team will be driving for. Alright, I guess that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.